So if I I'm I come into the product, mm. I'm a HubSpot user. What what do I what do I do? And then what are you doing on my behalf? And then how does that actually like manifest into into some sort of value for me? Yeah, man. I just it's we've tried to make it as elegant as possible. So you come in, you connect your HubSpot account. We have HubSpot and Pardot right now. Marketo's next on the list, but super focused on the HubSpot ecosystem. You just hit connect. There's no like setup. There's there's not like an integration process. You don't need to talk to anybody in order to get it set up. It's dead simple. It takes about 90 seconds. At that point, what happens is we go and get basically everything that lives inside your HubSpot instance. But what we're really focused on is, all right, here's this record that comes over and it's Connor. All right, I got this record. Show me every email open, every click, every site visit. Are there notes following sales calls? Are there... Give me everything. And what we do is we use all that to build an interest graph. And for anybody who's been to some degree engaged with you, your customers, certainly people who are mid funnel and down, people who have been like longtime newsletter subscribers, we end up picking up, you know, 50 to 150 insights per person. So we build this really interesting interest graph. There's a secondary piece of the proposition where for people that you maybe don't know very well, maybe they're totally disengaged or they're brand new prospects, we do have a, a LinkedIn data enrichment package that's mm -hmm. inside the product. So these are people I don't know much about, go get their full profile in their last 90 days of post behavior. And then, right, so you can kind of go from cold to hot. Oh, dude, I don't think that's like a sub bullet. That, that's a, that is very cool. Yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's you just got 5,000 SDRs kind of yeah. overnight, right? Like yeah. that's... That's the rip. And, and that's not my line. So I'll give credence to our advisor, Mike Weir, who just recently is the CRO over at G2. And the dude like is so good at packaging up what it is that we do and saying it to other people. So thank God he's around. So thank you, Mike. But, but that data all ends up coming back and creating this really interesting interest graph. And then we automatically suck in all the customer's content. So blogs, case studies, podcasts, webinars, white papers, whatever they have. Right. We go grab it all. The system reads it. So I don't care what you want to use as like a tag text. Yeah, sure. Which is so limiting. We're using machine learning in order to derive all the subject matter. And we go, well, I, I, I saw what Connor was engaged with. I know what we've got and that he hasn't seen. And so we connect the dots and then we make recommendations three of every type of content that you have for every single person that you have in your system. And we stick it back into HubSpot. We automatically create uh, new properties and we populate them every night for every person. So you get a headline, a link, and an image property for each of those recommended items. So for us, we have blog posts, we have podcasts here too at ATC, and we actually also have a syndicated feed. So we have a syndicated news service that comes into the back end. So there's ATC blog headline one, ATC blog image one, ATC blog link one. So when I go and I write like an email template or a landing page or a chatbot response, the same way that you're used to using like, you know, hey, first name, there's now, all right, we've got this really cool stuff. I was thinking a little bit about where you are in the business right now. I thought this might be useful to you. Blog headline one, blog link one, blog image one maybe a podcast, maybe a webinar, maybe a case study, depending upon kind sure. of like who you're talking to and when, but that template could go out to 10,000 people and you could end up sending 10,000 completely different emails. You could have a, an ABM style landing page. That's actually unique to the individual who's going there every day. Right. Yeah. So it's like, there's a bunch of really interesting use cases and our customers keep sharing them with us. And what's really cool is, you know, we got a pressure test, you no, know, God, it was like November-ish right when we went out and somebody said, can I actually create a list of everybody for whom a piece of content has been recommended? I was like, so you got to say more. What would you do with yeah. that? Well, I want to take the audience and I want to boost the content on LinkedIn. We're like, oh, that's right, so that's cool. So, oh, yeah. That's like perfect. And then so we put a little button on every content item in your entire you know repo that lets you export the content audience in a LinkedIn CSV format. And our customers have been uploading those CSVs, wow. promoting content, and their CPCs are 90% lower. Literally, nine, they're getting clicks for 50 cents on LinkedIn, which is freaking unheard of. So, yeah. and over and over again, and across industries and content types, it's just, it keeps working.
So that's a lot of where we're at right now is our customers really showing us the use cases and us thinking a lot about, all right, how do we make it easier and easier and easier for more and more people to take advantage of those use cases and deploy more of them more often. Are, are you guys sending, is, is the email going out from ATC or is the email going no. out from the- No, map? it's going out from HubSpot. This wow. is so incredibly important. We are not a better mousetrap. We are improving the mousetrap you have. HubSpot is great at sending emails. Mm -hmm. they, they don't have an email sending capacity problem. They're great at it, right? Pardot sends lots of great emails can be tough to build one in there, but they're great at sending them. Marketo does everything. They have landing pages. They're great at hosting websites. Like we shouldn't do that. These recommendations live in HubSpot because that's where you do your job. Now we have some really cool insights that live in our product. We'll tell you how relevant you are, what topics you need to write about in order to stay competitive and relevant within the audience that you have.